In this movie, we're going to look at variable scope. Within our compare numbers function, if we go back to our compare numbers function here, you'll notice that we set up two variables here, and we call them first and second. Simply defining the variables there within the subroutine, they're sharing, in effect, the same what we call a namespace as all the other variables within our Perl script. So, for instance, if we had, I'm going to set up a function here called set global name, and what we're going to do is set the value of a variable called name to a certain value. Now, if we declare the name variable here as Jerry, and then print it out without running the function, well, let's move over to our command line and actually do that. The name here is defined as Jerry. That's because we haven't run our function yet. So the name was never set to Tom. As soon, however, as we run set global name, and then try and print out the name again, I'll put in a line break to make it a bit clearer what's happening. Now the name has been changed from Jerry into Tom. This is fine in our very small and simple examples, but as we develop more and more subroutines and our scripts get more and more complex, we'll often find that we're reusing similarly named variables for common tasks within different subroutines. So we might end up with a situation where a variable in one subroutine is overwriting the value of a variable that we declared in another subroutine or outside of any subroutine at all in what's called the main namespace. The namespace when we're not inside any particular subroutine or function. We can get round this behavior. I'm going to put together a different subroutine definition here. And we're going to do a very similar thing, but we're going to use the my function. Now, the my function sets a variable, but it sets it to a scope within that particular subroutine or function. Subroutines being the user-defined variety of function. So, if we now, instead of using the global name function, if we call this local name, now the name variable that we're referring to here is actually belonging to this particular subroutine. So the subroutine, if we call it down here, if we call the set local name instead, has no effect on the value of the name variable outside the subroutine. However, if we do a print function in here, which outputs the value of the name function within that local subroutine, and then move back to our command prompt and try it again. As we can see, when we call the name variable within the subroutine, the name here is whatever we defined it when we called the my function to declare a variable that is tied closely to the subroutine itself. It has no effect on the name variable inside any other function call or outside of any other functional subroutine. You'll notice also that we don't have to use my more than once. As soon as we've put my before a variable name within a subroutine, then any further references to that name variable will be presumed to be referring to the version of the variable that's specific to this particular subroutine.